Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, this is Hopeful Chewbacca, back at the Church of Chewbacca, and today they released the Bob Gibson Career Moments player program to earn some second inning program stars. So to earn these program stars, it looks like you can earn 40 of them. First by unlocking the Bob Gibson, so you get this 85 overall breakout 1962 Bob Gibson card from the St. Louis Cardinals. You lock it into the collection. And then in the missions, if you tally two wins with the breakout legend Bob Gibson, you can also get another 20 program stars. So they give you 40 program stars with this Bob Gibson potentially. Now that we know that the Bob Gibson gives you the 40 program stars, let's see what you got to do to get this Bob Gibson. It looks like we got to get 50 points to unlock the breakout Bob Gibson 85 overall card, just like in the previous second program player for the Al K line, as well as in the first inning program, which was Curtis Granderson and Kerry Wood. For the missions, online tally strikeouts with Cardinals. So you got to get some Cardinals pitchers, whether they're relief pitchers or starters, get five strikeouts online, you're going to get 10 points. Online pitch innings with breakout pitchers. I'm not sure who all the breakout pitchers are. I don't think there's a lot of good ones in the game. I could be wrong. You could exchange starting pitchers for 10,000. Not a bad point total. I don't know if it's repeatable or not. I'm not going to do this one because it's not a free way to do it. You got to turn in cards. I'm in the process of trying to collect all the collections and do some other stuff with my cards. I'd rather earn stubs than just put them into this collection whenever these cards are pretty easy to get by just playing. The last option here is to play versus the computer, defeat the Cardinals on all-star or higher. You get eight points. This is probably the option I'm gonna go for. And then there's moments. So it looks like there's seven moments, like every other player program, each one worth six points each. And that'll give you a total of 42 points, plus playing that game on All-Star against the Cardinals or higher will give you the 50 points you need to get Bob Gibson. I think that's the route we're going to go. So let's get into it and see if we can get this Bob Gibson. Let's knock out these moments and then play that game against the Cardinals. And then we'll get this Bob Gibson card and at least turn in for 20 points. All right, let's do the first moment here. So let's look at the first moment we got to do. The first moment is first win of the season in April 26, 1962 for his first win of the season. Bob Gibson held the Astros to two runs while striking out five in a complete game. Player locked his Gibson tally five strikeouts while not allowing more than two runs in a game. Oh, they got the throwback unis on, boy, from like 1962. Come on, man. Altuve, why you gotta have such, such high contact with this bitch? The count is one and two. There we go. Strikeout number two. Got a bat with Bob Gibson. Off for St. Louis, the pitcher, Bob Gibson. So at least we get to face Verlander, so that should be another K. Two more left. Wow. <laughs> well then. There's number four. All right. There we go, got Bregman. All right, guys, that wasn't too bad. As you can see, we only had to pitch three innings. We did let up four hits, so I think we faced about 14 batters. It wasn't too bad of a challenge. The Astros have some pretty decent players, but it wasn't too bad at all. I didn't let up any runs, as you can see. We just let up some hits up the middle. All right, for our next challenge, just pitch your three-inning game. Got to strike out three batters, don't give up a run. The Reds are striking out eight batters on the way to his first shutout of the year. Player lock is Gibson. Enter the game in the seventh inning to finish off the shutout while striking out three guys. So we're coming in, in the seventh, so he's going to probably be a little fatigued. Only on veteran. Got to strike out three batters in three innings. Shouldn't be a big deal. We just did a mission on All-Star where we struck out five guys in three innings. So I don't think this will be too hard. Let's get in there and knock this out. There we go. That's the first strikeout. That was big, too, because that was against Joey Votto. He's a good stick. Oof. I don't like facing him. He normally hits me pretty well. Not going to lie. There we go. Third strikeout. Let's go. Knock that out. We knocked the strikeouts out. Now we just got to secure the shutout. First out. One down. There we 
goes. Another bonus strikeout for out number two. There we go. We ended it. We got it done. As you guys can see, we were successful with this mission. Um, so it shows 20 strikeouts, nine innings pitch. I did not pitch nine innings. I only pitched, obviously, the three. I think we ended up striking out like four or five batters. We obviously completed it. First try. Wasn't too bad of a mission. Pretty easy, in my opinion. All right, so we knocked out the first two missions. Let's move on to the third one. Scoreless inning streak from May 12th to the 22nd over the span of three starts. Bob Gibson pitched 22.2 consecutive scoreless innings. Player lock as Bob Gibson throw the last eight innings of the streak while striking out nine. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> that, that doesn't seem like any fun. I'm not going to lie. So we got to pitch eight innings, which can take a bit of time. Got to strike out nine batters. I don't think that the strikeouts and the pitching is... Un, it's not doable, but there's a lot of weird stuff that can happen in these games. But let's go get let's go get it done on veteran here. All right, so we get the first two outs. That's good. Oh no, okay, okay. Look, it looked like he got a hold of that one. I was like, are you fucking kidding me? No fucking way. Fourth inning here. There we go, another strikeout. Three left, three strikeouts. Okay, we still gotta pitch five innings, though. There we go, another one. So we gotta get two more strikeouts. Got the last strikeout, even on Harper. There we go. Got him. Finish it. That's what I like to see. All right. It looks like the next moment is June 13, 1962. Bob Gibson set a season high in strikeouts with 12 and a complete game victory over the Phillies. Player locked in Gibson strike out 12 batters without giving up more than a run in a game. I'm going to assume that this mission is going to let us play till we get 12 strikeouts and then you can get out of the game but we'll see let's go into it and knock this one out there we go got the first k there's strikeout number two on two number three incoming boys on the curveball let's go see you later gene Segura. Left to get. Let's get enough. Let's get the last strikeout here. There, strikeout number eight. Count is one and two. Strikeout number nine. There we go. Strikeout number ten. Double digits. Let's go. All right, strike three. Let's go. Looking. See you later. Looking. We're going high heat. Oof, a little high and in. Let's go. That's 12. Woo, let's go. All right, so as you can see, we've done this in the first attempt as well. Strike out 12 batters, I'll give up two runs. Um, I did in six innings, so I averaged about two strikeouts a person. So I will say, 
some advice for this is the last two moments have been against the Philadelphia Phillies. So my advice would be to throw a lot of slow, low sliders and low changeups. They seem to swing on those pitches a lot. I would kind of stay away from the fastball, especially up and in and up and out because it seemed like they like to hit the high fastball. I try to keep all the pitches low against the Phillies. Work in a changeup below the strike zone and a slider at the bottom of the strike zone. You should be able to strike out the guys. Since I know this mission is going to frustrate at least a few people. Look, we get four live series players. I believe they're bronzes and silvers, but they still equal money. They can still help you with a collection. The next mission is he can hit to Bob Gibson toss a complete game against the Mets while striking out four. He also went three for five at the plate with a home run. Player locked his Gibson, strike out four bat batters, and tally a hit in a game on rookie. All right, so most of the pitching missions have not involved any hitting missions. We'll see what happens. Let's go in here. I think this will probably take me more than one attempt. Hopefully, I get it in one attempt. Even even on rookie, this mission is... Why do you have to hit with the pitcher? The strikeout shouldn't be an issue, but it, this could take a long because if we don't get a hit like the first or second at bat... Oh, I'm only going to get the bat three or four times. Plus, we have to pitch the whole time. So, this could just be a pretty long mission. Got the first strikeout right there. Some high heat on Mariznich on Pete. Let's get this other one right here. Get the second strikeout. All right, good pitch for second strikeout. And they make you fake Jacob the Grom. What the? Hmm. Okay. Okay. Rookie or not? That's torture. And we're late. Okay, we're not. Right then. All right, strikeout number three. One more strikeout. I'm gonna go get this base hit. All right, so we have the four strikeouts already. Now we just have to get the hit. How am I over two? I've only batted once. Okay, gotta focus here. The ground's gonna give me something to hit. I promise. That was the pitch to hit, probably. Fall down fair. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Only took us two at bats. Yeah, give, give the pump for Bob Gibson. All right, guys. First attempt. We got really lucky with a good old Bernie bloop shot over the first baseman's head. Was not very pretty. But I got the job done. The strikeouts were easy. In three innings, we struck out seven guys. Um, it's on rookie, so really you just blow fastballs past everybody for the most part. The hitting part was what I thought would be a challenge. You're facing Jacob DeGrom. We ended up getting one hit in the fourth inning, so it wasn't that long of a mission. However, it could probably be one that really frustrates people because you've got to pitch the whole time even after you get those four strikeouts. Good luck, guys. I hope you guys all knock this out in the first try. Let's move on to what the next moment is. All right, first career All-Star game, July 30th, 1962. Voted into his first career All-Star game. Bob Gibson pitched two innings while striking out one batter. Player locked as Gibson matched his stat line. So it's on All-Star. However, compared to the other pitching things that we've done so far, this one seems pretty mediocre. Pitch two innings, strike out a batter. I'm not even sure if you'll have to pitch the two innings. We'll find out when we get in the moment. I'll let you guys know. Well, that's the strikeout against Aaron Judge, who obviously likes to strike out. It looks like they're going to make us pitch the two innings no matter what. One ball, one strike. Ooh, there we go. Wrapped it up with a ground ball to the first baseman. I think Freddie Freeman did it. Hey guys, this mission was super easy. You only have to pitch two innings. You can, I think you can let up runs and stuff too. You only have to strike out a batter on All-Star. As you can see, I struck out four of them in the two innings. Pretty easy mission. This is the easiest one I've done so far. So hopefully you guys knock this out first attempt. For the next moment, it's called 200 strikeouts. September 11th, 1962. With his fifth strikeout against the Reds, Bob Gibson reached a 200 strikeout milestone for the first time in his career. Play lock is Gibson. Tally five strikeouts to reach a 200 milestone mark. It's on All-Star. There's We have to get five strikeouts, so it's not that bad of a mission. Um, let's get it knocked out. It's going to give us the whole game, I believe. There we go. Got the first K. There's another strikeout. Let's go. 
I get three left. There's another one. Gotta get two more and we're done with these moments for Bob Gibson. Oh, strikeout number four. Let's go, one more. Ooh, he didn't go. He didn't go, Blue. There we go, strikeout number five, moments done. All right, as you guys can see, it took me about four innings to complete this to get those five strikeouts on All-Star. Once again, like I told you guys in the other moment, sliders down and in, down and away, change-ups below the zone. That seems to be what the computer likes to swing at. Try to stay away from that fastball. These guys actually almost, they made a lot of contact uh, compared to previous times. As you can see, only got the five strikeouts in four innings. That was probably the lowest per inning strikeout we've had with Gibson so far in these moments. As you guys can see, we've completed all the moments. So once you complete the moments, you want to go back to the main menu screen. You want to go over the tile that says collect, go down to player programs, go down to second inning Bob Gibson. And as you will see, now we have 42 points earned from doing those seven missions and six points of mission. These are all completed. And we have unlocked, it looks like three packs for four live series players, which was gonna contain two Cardinal, two silver Cardinals players, two bronze players. So you're gonna get 12 players out of this plus 1500 stubs for doing those moments. Now, as you go into missions, we need eight more points. So uh, the mission we're gonna do here is we're gonna do play the computer on All-Star, we're gonna go play the Cardinals with our Diamond Dynasty team on All-Star. To do that, here's where you have to go. So you wanna go from the program screen that you're gonna get popped out into, and you're gonna to go to Extended Play, Play versus the Computer, and you're gonna go here and select the Cardinals. And then with your R1 and L1, you can switch it to difficulty, switch it to All-Star, and you're gonna play the game. As you can see from doing the game on All-Star, we've unlocked the Bob Gibson. So now once you've unlocked this Bob Gibson, I'm going to show you where to turn it in at so you can get those 20 program stars. All right, we're going to pop there when we come out of the extended play. We're going to go into the second inning program. We're going to go to collections. We're going to hit collect Bob Gibson, press the advance button, collect the item. Boom, 20 more program stars for a second inning program. Guys, I really appreciate you watching all the content. Please hit the subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up so I know that I'm doing a good job. Hit the notification bell so you know whenever I'm uploading videos onto YouTube. Also, if you are enjoying the content and you want to watch me live, I stream on twitch.tv slash hopeful Chewbacca Monday through Thursday, 8.30 p.m. to 10.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I also do stream sometimes on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. However, I do not have a set schedule. It's all based off of whenever I'm available. I tweet out when I'm going to go live. You can follow me on Twitter at Hopeful1137. With that being said, you guys can also add me on PlayStation Network. My gamer tag is Hopeful1137. You guys can get on there. We can play friendlies. You guys can ask me for any type of advice with Diamond Dynasty or any of the videos that I made, especially the showdown videos. I've done the division showdowns a bunch. I've made videos for every single division and hopefully they've been helping you guys out guys i appreciate everyone watching you guys have a great day and be safe